Um, hi, how are you doing, Aries? Aries, 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 how are you doing? How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, this is your daily reading for June 27th. Uh, I'll be starting to do personal readings for $35 on Instagram. Link in the description. Uh, does it matter how long the readings take? No. Uh, when I'm doing readings, I really give in my full self. You gotta know what you gotta know, right? You really gotta connect to what you gotta connect, right? Oh, man, I've been sitting here for too long with the, this bone in my back. You know the wing bone? It's been actually hurting, man. It's been, uh, I don't know why. It never hurt before. It really never, it really never faced me like that. Except when I'm, I've been sitting so much on the computer. Trust me. Trust me. This shit really fucking hurts. But, there is no time to cry. It's just time to die. We just shed a tear for the times we have. And when we rest, we will release of our breath. So why be faced by pain? Why be faced by hate? Cause this shit won't last forever. But I'll give it all I have. For your reading, uh, you get the Ten of Cups, Emotional Fulfillment. Uh, you might be getting together with your loved one, connecting with your loved one, connecting with your family. Uh, there's this energy of you feeling emotionally happy, emotionally secure, emotionally... I want you to think about this. Close your eyes for a minute, you know, just trust me, close your eyes. Think about, like, Island, Iceland, a land is like mountainous, just mountains with uh, um, <laughs> imagine if you close your eyes and you're like, what the fuck does oh man, <laughs> yeah, there's this uh, energy of um, uh, grass, this is just lands that just flung with water, birds just tripping, you know, just um, just. Uh, there is a river flowing by, you know, there, there is that, that energy taking place, you know. Just picture that. And it's just, it's, it's in a world of you and your lover, your, your loved one, your soulmate for life, your, your partner, you know. Uh, and uh, it's, it's just really just you and them and nothing in the world that's facing you. You both have a home, you both have water being provided for you. Everything you need is being provided by the universe. It feels like you're in the garden of Eden with your lover and you guys have kids Just playing around, you know, that energy is taking place. Yes, me saying that it might be like damn I don't have kids. I'm single. What the fuck? I'm not I'm not in Ireland <laughs> What I'm saying is there's a whole new world opening up for you There is a whole new experience that you're really gonna be happy in There's this energy of um I feel, I feel myself. You know, you might be connecting with yourself, your higher self, or even your soulmate, your family, friends. There's this ten of cups, just you feeling like you have enough love within you that you can share with those around you. For your reading, you get the world card, the knight of wands, the eight of cups. You, there's this new cycles, new experiences that are opening up for you, you know. You might be going on a journey, uh, where you're gonna acquire these new experiences even even in this aroma you're sitting in it's like the universe is putting you through excuse me it's like the universe is putting you through these new cycles you know just seeing things under the new light not being faced by uh, harm heart danger you know in this reading and I mean in this card the world card the the cow or the bull is in the same picture as the lion, you know, and they just, they make the whole complete picture. It's like you realize the dangers and the good you've been through just make you better. They just ascend you. Um, the troubles and tribulations you've been going through, they just make you who you are, you know. You can finally walk around the fucking house and just even walk around naked. Trust me, this is America. I know you all can do that, but uh, <laughs> you haven't seen me. <laughs> There's this energy of being comfortable under your own skin. And if you're not, 
please love yourself there is no reason why you shouldn't you look beautiful and gorgeous the way you are and if anybody tells you you should change something i don't know you know i don't know but even if trust me um i just said that and i might want to get something clear when people when people advise you to change don't take it hard take it with an, a grain of salt you know take it with the uh, why are they saying this might they be right you know but don't change who you are because of them that's what i'm trying to say just change the way you want to change do things the way you want to do them however just be mindful of yourself take care of yourself take care of bro there is this energy of you need to get yourself prepared there's this energy of you need to be in this flowing energy of just going through cycles without holding anything back you know not holding any ideas or just no there's just flow just go with the flow you know and you might be needing to step out and experience this new world uh, with the ten of cups you might be meeting your your person who makes you feel like they're my whole world my whole universe you might be meeting somebody who makes you feel at ease you know but there is this everything is flowing everything is glowing everything is making you feel like um you're the best version of you you can be with the knight of wands you might be having some ideas some projects some direction you want to head in and uh, you're heading towards that that's what i'm saying uh you could be heading you could be deciding uh you could be thinking of um i want to get in a commitment and um as soon as you step yeah if you're trying to get in a connection uh you could be getting in a connection with somebody who you work with somebody who um three of pentacles somebody who you team up with somebody who you make a really good collaboration team with there's that energy taking place and it's it's really gonna make you happy it's really gonna set you up in this oh i'm emotionally fulfilled i'm emotionally abundant i'm ready for these new cycles and with the knight of wands the knight of wands you rushing in and just moving in to just experience this uh you might be having some people in your life you have to leave behind you have you might be having some other connections you have uh, you might be having to leave behind because it's like you're seeking this this one person you know it's like this person who's coming towards you is divinely guided this this um this mate of yours i don't see the lovers but let me see oh i see commitment though i see the hierophant let me see let's get into your reading oh yeah you might be dealing with a capricorn with the devil but uh i'm gonna stop there i'm gonna stop there uh, I feel like both of you, or just you, or you and them, I don't know. I get the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of, um, I mean, the, the Chariot. You might be feeling abundant, but even though, I can't say that. I can't say that. You might be enjoying yourself. You, you might be enjoying yourself. You might be uh, being blessed by the universe, having this abundance around you. And this person... Uh, two of cups they are working on a connection they're working on themselves they are working to give a cup to themselves they're working to really reconnect to themselves and uh, with the chariot i really get this sense of they have a direction they want to head in you know they might be trying to start a relationship with you they might be trying to start a connection with you they might be really starting to start something with you and uh, it just makes you feel like um you know it makes you feel happy it makes you feel like you, you are willing to put everything on the back burner and just head towards them to work on this on them because you see them as a good investment you see them as some like i said you i get the i get the seven of pentacles and ten of pentacles you see abundance that's com that comes when you two col collaborate you know you see this abundance that comes in when both of you get together and you or you uh, i get the queen of swords the ten of cups uh, but behind the Queen of Swords is the King of Cups. Uh, you might be you might be looking for love, but not in the ways of I'ma go out look for it. You might be like, hmm, I wonder when somebody who's gonna rescue me is gonna come. Anybody? Anybody who's gonna rescue me? Huh? Nobody? Oh well, I'ma still be here. If anybody needs to rescue me, I need love, and uh, I have this cup to offer. I've been really working on this cup. I've been really putting a lot of shit in this cup. You get that energy of um, 
Yes, you're putting in effort. You really, you're putting in. I, 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 this is what I even see. You've been working yourself. You've been trying to find a place to invest. You've been your work is even divinely guided in terms of uh, it's gonna pay you off. Just keep on working. But there is this energy of uh, you deciding to walk away from uh, emotions that no longer feel, feed you, uh, people who no longer uh, help you advance. You might be even having a lot of options in your life. And you're like, uh, I know you guys are it, but you guys are not it, it, you know. With the King of Cups, it's kind of like this person is going on a journey to seek out that missing cup. And turns out the person who has that missing cup is your King of Cups. Now, okay. And your King of Cups might find you in this Queen of Swords energy where you are being defensive. Where you, you're being protective of your heart. Because probably you or them been through some shit. But the King of Cups is also somebody who is going through their own shit. But now being faced by it. You know, these two people are going through changes. The King of Cups is just going through their emotional phases. And you as the Queen of Swords is just going through your heartbreaks. You know, your heart X, what else makes sense, you know. And you might need to really loosen that up a bit, you know. Uh, you, you connecting with them, you talking with them might really make you release all the emotions you've been holding on to. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, uh, I see you having something to show off your success. Your success is paying off, but you're not rushing to spend it, you're not rushing to waste it, you're not rushing to show it off, but you're holding it. You know, you, what, you're holding it, you're looking at it, you're trying to find a way to really advance it. Um, with the Knight of Cups, I really, I really get this energy of you deciding to move towards love. You deciding to let go of this um, soul you've been holding onto your heart and make your heart be free again. You know, it might be you walking away from. Oh yeah. Also, one other thing I would say with this. Um, hmm. This Eight of Cups is going to look for a cup, and it seems like you you find your person, but you find them in some emotional shit, you know, some either, yeah, let's just keep it there. I don't want to get into that shit. And uh, with the Knight of Cups, I get this energy of you finding that cup you've been missing and deciding to invest it. You, you're trying to, it's like, you're no longer being defensive of your heart. You're no longer being defensive of your heart. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Look at what they're wearing. That blue cloak. You... It's like you are deciding to just, instead of standing up and being defensive of your heart, you're really deciding to really make a move. You're deciding to make a move towards this person you see as an investment. You're deciding to corroborate with this person. You're deciding to really uh, work on the craft with this person as well. And both of you might be growing this idea as a team, but there is a new world opening up for you, you know. Uh, I see a commitment probably coming through. You might be getting in a commitment connection with this person. Uh, with the devil, I really get that connection of, uh, yes, it's going to be what you need with what they need, you know, come meet in the middle. It's like a devil connection is kind of like a toxic situation where um, I get what I need out of the situation and you get out of, you get what you need. But it's not, it's not, um, it's not fair on the level of it's an equal give and take. However, with the hair front here, I think you guys, um, I see you guys really, you guys love each other. You guys are in a commitment. You guys are getting together to get in this commitment. It might be toxic. But it just lights up the shit, you know. You might be getting an insight uh, in the future. You might be foreseeing the future. You might be having some dreams. You might be having uh, opportunities being presented in front of you. Uh, either to walk away from what you're in. Uh, or either walk away from past connections. To really move on. The choice is yours. Because as you move forward, you're going you're gonna to find that uh, you can invest in yourself and you're good. But if you want a connection, you can invest in this person. And it's going to be really... Is gonna bring happiness and really gonna make you stupidly happy. Um, with the Ten of Cups and the uh, Knight of Wands and the King of Cups, it could be a person who wants to rush in. Yeah, it could be a person who wants to rush in and make things work out. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, somebody who's just um, they're unsettled. You know, they just in and out. You know, or just 
want something beneficial as the, the devil, you know, something out of the situation. But I really, really, really see you guys really getting together, you know. Like I said, I don't see any lovers, but I see the two of cups. You guys might be twin flames, not soulmates. And if you guys can be comfortable with that, if you guys can really understand that we are not, you know, we are not meant to be together, but we can understand each other and make things work out. Sorry, soulmates, I, I never, I haven't understood soulmates in, um, I haven't even understood soulmates, but I really think twin flames are just, um, twin flames are like these people. You know, they're, they're not, they're not, um, they're not there to really feel each other's love 24 seven, but they're there to benefit from each other. You get what I mean? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm trying to go at. But with the hair front there, this shit might result into, um, after you guys feel this happiness, this shit might result into you guys getting a commitment. I don't know. It's up to you. I don't know. But I see the commitment taking place. I see the new world taking place. So really, I see you advancing. Yeah.